Can reducing the symptoms of psoriasis be as simple as changing the foods we eat? Let's find out the answer to this question by checking which foods to eat and avoid if you have psoriasis. Also, we'll reveal one research-based way to improve this condition. All right, so psoriasis is an autoimmune skin condition that causes red, itchy, scaly patches, most commonly on the knees, elbows, trunk, and scalp. It happens when a person's body mistakenly attacks its own tissue, so it starts overproducing skin cells. And that lays down plaques on the skin. Only in the US, psoriasis affects more than 3% of the population. That is more than 7.5 million US adults. While there's no cure for psoriasis, there is some solid evidence that what you eat can often help improve the condition. The research published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology found that eating a more balanced diet can improve gut health and decrease skin inflammation. So when you eat foods that are rich in sugar and fat, it creates an imbalance in the gut microbiome and makes inflammatory skin conditions worse. But when you switch to a healthy, balanced diet, it helps restore the gut's health and reduces inflammation. And here we come to the main point. What food should you avoid with psoriasis? Let's dig a bit deeper into this. Number one food to avoid is dairy. Many dairy products are high in fat, which can lead to inflammation. One survey reported that one of the most common food triggers participants choose to remove from their diets was dairy, because that triggered their psoriasis. Today, there are loads of alternatives in replacing dairy products. Here are some options. Switching from cow's milk to soy, almond, or coconut milk. Switching from butter to coconut or olive oil, avocados. Switching from cheese to tofu or cream cheese, which is made using soy or coconut milk. Yes, in the beginning, it may be weird replacing traditional dairy, but why don't you give it a try? What you can also do is hit that subscribe button on our channel. Thank you. Next. Number two foods to avoid are the ones that contain gluten. Gluten is a protein found in some grains like wheat and barley. For example, bread, pasta, and baked goods contain gluten. Loads of people with psoriasis say that reducing gluten in their diet lessens their flare-ups. You should read all food labels carefully to avoid gluten, since it may be hard to understand which foods contain it. Number three in our list are processed foods. Chemically processed foods have little nutritional value and only contain refined ingredients and artificial substances. They usually have ingredients that could be harmful, such as saturated fats, added sugar, and salt. So, try to avoid fast food, sugary baked goods, candies, white bread, soda, and chips. Such foods are associated with an increased risk of multiple chronic diseases, such as diabetes, heart disease, and autoimmune conditions. Eating processed foods may increase inflammation in the body, which may lead to psoriasis flare-ups. All right, so these are the foods that are a big no-no, not only if you have psoriasis, but also if you want to improve your overall health. Just as some foods trigger inflammation, others can help fight it. In general, having a balanced whole food diet is the best approach to reducing inflammation. But what kind of foods are best to eat when you have psoriasis? Number one is fruits and vegetables. They are high in antioxidants and can decrease oxidative stress and inflammation. Check out this list of fruits and veggies that are basically a must in your diet. Remember, a diet high in fruits and vegetables is strongly recommended for people with psoriasis. Number two is fatty fish. A diet high in fatty fish can provide the body with anti-inflammatory omega-3s. Specifically, omega-3s have been linked to a decrease in overall inflammation. We suggest choosing such fish as salmon, sardines, trout, cod. Number three is healthy oils. Just like fatty fish, healthy oils also contain anti-inflammatory fatty acids. It's important to focus on oils with a higher ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids. That's why we strongly recommend including olive, coconut, flaxseed, or safflower oil in your diet. Even though we excluded a few specific foods to consume, it doesn't mean they're all you need to eat. If you have psoriasis, we also strongly recommend consuming lean protein or plant-based proteins, such as tofu or tempeh, legumes, nuts and seeds, and whole grains. So, do you remember us saying that we'll reveal one research-based way to improve psoriasis? Well, here we want to talk about a specific eating pattern, which is intermittent fasting. The effect of dietary interventions on psoriasis has been rarely researched until recently. 
According to an article published in Dermatology Times, the European Academy of Dermatology and Venereology has published research showing that the modified intermittent fasting, or 5-2 fasting method, helps improve the skin of psoriasis patients. To make it clear, modified intermittent fasting is a form of fasting that requires restricting the caloric intake for a certain amount of time. In this particular case, 5-2 fasting means eating normally for 5 days and restricting the caloric intake for 2 days. So, in this study, a total of 24 subjects were enrolled. One group included 12 participants who followed the 5-2 fasting for 12 weeks. The other group of 12 participants continued on the regular diet. The fasting group ate 500 calories twice a week on two non-consecutive days, but on all other days were free to eat like usual. At week 6 and week 12, the fasting group reported significant skin improvement, including less scaling and skin thickening. Also, 30% of patients claimed a decrease in itching. In the interview with Touch Immunology, PhD and postdoctoral researcher Linda Grine, who is working on this research, said that patients are really happy with the results and willing to continue doing intermittent fasting. Not only because of the improved skin condition, but also because of weight loss and energy boost. So, maybe it's about time to give intermittent fasting a try? Watch next! Top 5 Foods That Destroy Your Immunity and 8 Benefits of Intermittent Fasting